Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Audacity to make sound recordings and make special sound effects. And I'm doing this uh, lesson today from my classroom in the Diablo Valley College College for Kids program in Pleasant Hill, California. So I have a class of about 25 students here in the room with me. Uh, what we want to do with Audacity is record a little sound that we're going to use in one of our games. And so to do that, we click this and then I'm going to say something. And I'm going to make a voice for an alien and I'm going to it's going to start off sounding like a human and then I'm going to change it into an alien like sound using special effects. So here we go. Hello, I am from another planet and I'm here to take all of your resources. Okay, so let's play that. Oh, you know, I didn't hook up the speakers, but we'll see how how it sounds. Hello, I am from another planet, and I'm here to take all of your resources. Okay, that doesn't sound very scary or intimidating or anything. And it has some extra bits at the front and the end. So what I'll do is I'll select this and then press delete. So I've removed that part and then I can do the same thing for the end, so I've trimmed it. The picture that you see there represents the, 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 the amplitude or how, how high and low those waves go represents the volume, so the parts where I was talking loudly are, are bigger. And pauses between words you can see are like here. I can select part of this and play part of it. Hello, I am from another and so one thing you could do is you take a recording of something and then you could pull out little words, little bits and pieces and rearrange them. But what I want to do is uh, I'm going to change this. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it backwards. Here are the, all the effects you can do. So let's see, where is reverse? So let's do reverse. That makes it sound very different. So see reverse. number so it's starting to sound more alien-like. Uh, now maybe I want to change the speed or the tempo. I could make it higher or lower. I could make it really fast. So let's do some of those things. You can, I don't know whether you guys remember record players or tape recorders, but it used to be if you sped them up, it would make the, it would make the talking happen faster and the pitch would be higher. Uh, but with these effects on the computer, you can do those independently. I could raise the pitch, I could raise my voice up an octave, but not speed it up. Or I could speed it up without changing the pitch. So let's see what we want to do here. Let's, uh, so let's see, change speed, change tempo, change pitch. We'll change the pitch. And we've got some people with guitars here. Do you know how many, uh, how many semitones you have to move to get up to the next octave? A semitone would be a, a key on a piano, including the black keys. I think um, I think twelve would get you there. If you make twelve changes, there are eleven different notes. If you move twelve, then you're back to the note you started with: C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Oh, that is a total of 12. So if you wanted to have go up an octave, it would be 13. Hmm. Or did I make a mistake with my counting? Did anybody see? Okay. So let's say 13. And now I will push preview. So it's going to sound like that. And then I like that, so I push OK. And then here it is, and I'll play it back. So I have a little sound. Now, the next thing to do is to export it as a WAV file because uh, Scratch can import WAV files. And I'll put it on the desktop and I'll call this Alien Visitor. Alien. I don't know why it's playing right now. V-I-S-I-T-O-R. Save that to the desktop. Now we'll go to Scratch. 
and uh, we have something in here before but I'll just keep it. I go to the sounds for the cat and I import the sound from the desktop. Here it is. And now let's see if the cat can say that. You may not have heard it in the room, but I heard it in my headphones, just because the way I have uh, the sound preferences set up. Uh, let's change that. Um, sound preferences. Where did it go? The scratch in the way. Sound preferences. Yeah, it's just, it's hidden behind something, I think. Huh. Oh, here it is. Okay, so for output, I want the output to go from the internal speakers. So now you should be able to hear it. Uh, scratch. Scratch is minimized. Okay, let's see if you hear it now. I'm hearing it in the headphones. Okay, take my word for it. Uh, it's there. Uh, when I'm done with the recording, I'll, I'll play it for you so you can hear it. And then what I want to do is make a script that says when the program starts the cat will make that sound play sound alien visitor okay let's see if I hear this and I do I hear it in the headphones hopefully we got it on the uh, uh, podcast recording too okay good so that concludes the lesson on using audacity to record sounds and make special effects see you next time